Okay, so why don't you introduce yourself again, since this is... Yeah, I'm Paul Guzik from Three Prong Power in Berkeley, California. I'm also with Boulder Hybrid Conversions in Boulder, Colorado. Okay, okay, so tell us about that. When did Boulder Hybrid Conversions start? And uh, just started now in um, late September 2010. Great. Um, for the last three years, Three Prong Power has been doing this in California, and we realized the Colorado market is the place to be primarily because of state tax incentives. Um, okay. For example, a system that we sell in California for around $5,000 is there's an 85% tax credit if you're a Colorado resident. So wow. it makes the net after tax out of pocket under $1,000 for the same system. Wow, okay, and tell us what that system's capable of. That's a four kilowatt hour system that will give you electric assist for 15 to 30 miles per charge. Um, and for shorter distances, pure EV up to 34 miles an hour. Okay, for well. most people, it's going to act as a mileage enhancer. They'll end up with anywhere from 60 to 80 mpg instead of the typical 40, 45 that a regular Prius gets. Got it. And because it's Colorado, you're able to put in uh, sort of a, an EV mode button. Is that right? Yes. We give the customer an option to have an EV button that can, and it's more like an EV request. You request the car to go in EV mode. The car may deny you, ah. but for short trips and trips around town that are below 34 miles an hour, the car will generally stay in the electric mode. Got it, got it. Okay, that's interesting. And, and what was the range on the, you know, if it's if it's flat and you're able to go on just EV mode? If you were to go um, just on battery mode, you could get up to 20 miles, but it's hard to get it 20 miles continuously. Got it. The car kind of has to rest. Because it manages that. And yeah, the, okay. the ideal situation would be someone who's driving in city traffic with a lot of stop and go where there's traffic lights, stop signs. At that point, the car can catch up and um, perform better in EV mode. Okay, so it's really neighborhood electric vehicle sort of uh, performance and beyond because the Prius is capable. You know, it's got the gas engine. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. we haven't taken anything away from the Prius. So if you need to drive to Los Angeles or anywhere, it's still a regular gas car. Um, obviously, if you don't charge it um, regularly, it, the mileage will end up being closer to a regular Prius than a plug-in Prius. Okay. Speaking of charging. You know, what's the lifetime on these batteries, and, and do you have a good control unit that makes sure it's not going to, you know, discharge well, them with, too much, or can you dispel any concerns people yeah, might with, have? Yeah, well, with any lithium battery mm -hmm. or any advanced battery system, you need a really good BMS battery management system. Got so it. we have a, an advanced BMS that keeps an eye on the batteries. In Colorado, they're warrantied for three years. Got it. And the manufacturer actually, manufacturer actually says they should last five to seven years. Oh, wow, okay. In, in, in Colorado, we expect for the rest of 2010 to be pretty busy because the, while the tax credit today is set to go through 2011, mm -hmm. you never know, they could can the program, uh, there could be a government change, so we we are encouraging people to do it this calendar year if they can. Yeah. Um, and personally, I think if you live in Colorado and own a Prius, why wouldn't you do it? Because the state is giving you a gift that no one else in the country has and you might as well take that gift. The replacement cost of batteries are around $1,000 per two kilowatt hours. Okay. And that's today's prices, so they should last a few years. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say four years from now they expire and they're out of the warranties over. Hopefully by then the price will come down from what it is today. So you were saying you do work with all Prius models? We, we, we've worked with all Priuses, but these systems do work best today with the second gen Prius, which is 04 through 09 model years. Got it. And what it, I've heard that it doesn't void the warranty, or how does it work? No, it, it, it's very benign as far as, even though it looks complicated, we don't remove anything from the Toyota architecture. We just add features to it. Okay. So everything that Toyota put in there from the factory is still there. If our systems are turned off, it functions as a regular Prius. And okay. it's, it technically is against the law for Toyota to void the warranty. Oh. Um, Okay. on an aftermarket upgrade unless it specifically causes the problem. Okay. It's never done. So okay. you have a you have a higher end kit that's also available in Colorado or that you're working on getting out there. Yeah, the, the the higher end system is eleven or twelve thousand um, dollars, but seventy one hundred of that will be covered by state and federal in tax Colorado. credits in Colorado. Got it. And it works really well. You can get like forty miles of E V range or typically over 100 mpg. So we had a customer in California with that same system, drove 600 miles in a month and used six gallons of gas. That's just amazing. And uh, awesome. you know, a lot of your trips will be zero gas. Although in the, in the winter time when you want heat, you'll have to run the gas engine to provide cabin heat. 
This is our 10 kilowatt system, uh, sort of enclosed in the trunk. Yeah, and this is it's great to see just how much room is still available in the trunk, and it sits kind of where the spare tire is. And you said it's still under there, it's just harder to get to? Yeah, the spare tire is, is still under the box, it's on the lower level. Um, definitely not fun to get to, so we do recommend getting an additional spare tire, carrying it in the trunk on a long trip, or leaving it in your garage if you're local. If you get a flat, have someone bring it out to you. Got it. Wow, that's cool. And it, what's over here? Is this where the control unit Th this is? This actually is a charging panel, so we have... Um, this box is so full of batteries we can't put the charger in the box, so we put it in this panel on the side here. Okay, and that's for the 10 kilowatt system? For the 10 kilowatt system. Okay, well sweet. Excellent. Well, it's, it seems like a really great solution to uh, enhancing an already great car. Yeah, and the Prius is a wonderful car. It's a very reliable car, very clean car, very efficient car. And with a plug-in, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You have an electric car and a full-featured gasoline hybrid car. Yeah, awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you in Colorado. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you.